I did it. I finished another book. Oh God, was it boring. Confronting Reality, Doing What Matters to Get Things Right by Larry Bossidy and Ram Sharon. I am completely guessing how to pronounce that. Here, have a slate. This is the second book I think I've seen where they put the copyright right on the edge of the... That is super strange to me. All right, so this book was dry and dull, but it did not insult me or make me angry. So I read the whole thing. It's very much read for CEOs and for people who actually run businesses and have a certain level of background knowledge that I do not have and do not care about. So I was only able to digest like some of the information. Broad strokes, you may need to change your business model. Make sure you're watching the industry and how it's changing. Make sure when things go bad, you know why they're going bad. What your most successful competitors are doing that's different from you. What you're going to have to do, if it means getting out of the business, if it means moving your production line overseas or firing a ton of people. It talks a lot about how business has changed very recently. Lots of stuff about Walmart and the dot-com bubble burst. This is like 10 years old, I think. Yeah, 2004. Like I said, I can only digest this on the largest above level because I don't run a business and don't care and be a terrible business leader. But the advice is good. Make sure you know why your business is failing when it's failing so that you can make the changes that are actually going to work for you instead of just assuming you know it's what it's going to be. And he gives a lot of and they give a lot of examples. And they name drop a lot of CEOs who I don't know who are or care about. They give uh, examples of things that work and didn't work. And while they're trying to be comprehensive, I never got the impression that they were... I'm not convinced that this isn't a hindsight is 2020 kind of thing. These people survived. This is how they did it. Clearly it's because their information was good and not that they got lucky. I mean, 90% of it is you have to not just be insular. You have to catch the right cues. And while it tries to tell you how to catch the right cues, how do you even know? I would make a terrible business leader. I would not be good at a CEO. I crumple under pressure like, whoa. So, ugh. I am not part of this book's target demographic. Not by a long shot. But the advice, as far as I can tell, is actually fairly solid. On the subject of me not being convinced that this is a hindsight 2020 kind of thing, they talk about how impressed they are with Dell a lot. I don't really know what Dell is doing right now, but I don't think they are as impressive a company as they were in 2004. That doesn't necessarily mean the information in the book is bad, like the advice in the book is bad, because, I don't know, maybe there was a leadership change, maybe someone made a bad call. You can't really prove or disprove any of this crap. Ugh. I read the acknowledgments and the about the authors because I intend to be paid for every page of this book. I now have to write a written review that will be comprehensive enough to prove that I have read the thing while also admitting that I did not engage with the information in it on any significant level. That's gonna be fun. It's gonna go to the whole company. I wonder how many people will actually read it. I used to read every review I got just so I could do something that wasn't working during the day. The other thing I really noticed in this book was that uh, I found some spelling errors. And any book is going to get typos, but I noticed them because I was so bored that my brain wanted to latch on to something very, very badly. And I found the spelling errors amusing. Also, this book talks about business models as if it's coining the term. I'm pretty sure the term existed before 2004, but I'm not certain. That's how out of touch I am with any of the information in this. They say, the business model, like it's a new thing. It's bizarre. It's not a bad book. It's probably a good book, especially if you are a high-level entrepreneur, which I certainly hope I will never have to do because I would be so bad at it. It's just not... There's a section in the end where it talks about the qualities of leadership that's needed for the future, and I'm like, I fail every criteria. I don't care that I do. I'm not an ambitious person. So yeah, not terrible. Thumbs up. So coming up next, if I don't bail on it as well, is Robert Greene's Mastery from the best-selling author of The 48 Laws of Power. Apparently my theme was glossy covers. 
Mm. <sighs> See you next time.